Hello and welcome to Nodge Girls 5 smithing tutorial. Today I'm going to be teaching you um, the easiest way to get from whatever level you are at now to level 100 smithing so you can make that fantastic dragon and daedra armour. Before we start this tutorial off I'm going to just give you a quick advisory message that I think it will be so much easier if you've got the house breeze home in white run as it is right next to the War Maidens which has its own like smithing area and therefore you can store all your things there because there is quite a lot you've got to collect I'm going to do all the um, calculations for you okay then I'll just give you a quick run through of what you need to do when you get get all your stuff and then go to the smithing area okay as you can see here first of all you need to go to the smelter and change any bits of iron ore you have into iron ingots this will therefore allow you to make you know more iron daggers and that so remember when you're buying the stuff at the beginning iron ore is as valuable as iron ingots even though it's cheap in the shop so go through buy all the iron ore first and then buy the ingots because it's pretty much exactly the same thing it just takes you as you can see there you just have to click on it it takes barely any time once you've done that you need to make sure that you have a lot of leather and leather straps available if not you can go talk to the lady there who's working if you're at a you know, normal time if you're at midnight then she's not going to be there but if you run out of things you can either go into war maidens or talk to her they always have leather and iron ore on them so you can buy off them and then what you want to do is go over to the main smithing area click on there to start um, forging and you just go down to the iron section and click iron dagger once you've depleted all your iron ingots you will want to then change what you're making go down to the leather and click on leather braces these are the iron dagger and the braces are the easiest ways to level up as they use the least amount of things and they give you a fair amount of xp for it okay then as you can see my character is just going through the leveling up stage where he's just saying smithing level up to 32 and things like that until he gets, I think he gets up to like 42 after that little session but anyway I'm going to skip forward towards when I had actually got level 100 and I'd stored away all my iron daggers and leather braces so I'll show you how much um, how, how many of those I have and then I'll give you stats on what you need, how much iron ingots and leather and leather straps and then I'll tell you how much gold it cost me to do as well. Okay then, as you can see we've uh, moved on to my home in Br in Winterhelm, Bree's home. And we're now going to look into my chest of drawers, I think it is, where I've kept all my things from smithing. As you can see there, I've got 182 leather braces and 380 iron daggers I know that sounds an awful lot but getting to level 100 does take a little bit of time but once you get all the required elements in order to make each thing then you can literally do it in five minutes because you just keep tapping A on the thing if, as long as you've got all the required parts it will just keep making them so it doesn't really take that m that long it probably took me about an hour and a half, hour and a half to end up getting all the ingredients as it is together um, oh, so I've done a few calculations and I'm going to put them up on the screen now in order to get from I think I was level 25 to 30 ish when I started so in order to get from 30 to 100 you need 182 pieces of leather 744 leather straps I know that sounds a lot but from one piece of leather you can make you can make four leather strips so it's 4 to 1 ratio so it's not too bad so on top of the initial 182 you need another 186 um, pieces of leather in order to make the 368 pieces of leather overall which would then le lead into the 744 leather strips and you also need 380 iron ingots the final component in which you need in order to complete this is the uh, funding at the beginning for me it took around is about 10,000 gold coin which sounds a lot but you know after you're doing quests and stuff and um, if you do I think it's called it's the Dark Brotherhood ones once you've completed that I think you get about a thousand or 500 a for every quest you do after that so it's not too hard to do 
and obviously it, that um, price would come down if you're wearing things which like a amulet of major haggling that will just allow you to do it a lot cheaper so I would advise going out before you buy stuff put all your haggling gear on like thieves guilds hoods and all that good stuff and then go out and buy the things so that is the end of the tutorial I hope it's been educational and helped you uh, a lot and now know that how much things you need in order to get the level 100 um, smithing to get the dragon armor if you have enjoyed please drop a like maybe a comment maybe a favorite and i'll speak to you guys later